If you invest $200 every single week over the last 10 years, you will have $2.4 million, almost $2.5 million. That is the most I have ever seen on my comparison videos. $2.5 million? What's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, and now you can receive a free share valued up to $1,600. That is literally free money. But in this video, we're gonna compare three giants in the technology industry. We're gonna compare three different companies. We're gonna compare AMD, we're gonna compare Intel, and we're gonna compare NVIDIA. All three of these companies are amazing. And I'm pretty sure you have used one of their products before, whether you know it or not. And also on my channel, I have a whole AMD series, so I'll know everything about this company in and out. So when I compare these three companies to each other, I really hope that it's somewhere in the top one now, I really hope it's somewhere in the top two. I'm, it, it might not perform the best, but hopefully uh, after I do my technical analysis over it, hopefully it shows that I've been investing into the right company because I know for a fact that one of these companies have a very bright future ahead. But before we dive into this video, make sure that you guys hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. And also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But one thing I, I found out that you guys actually need to hit the, the bell icon because I've been doing some research on the YouTube algorithm and it's not looking good for me at all. So if you guys can go ahead and hit the notification bell, it really helped me out a lot to all of my new subscribers out there. So appreciate it. But let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are. The three companies that we're going to be comparing is Intel to consumer INTC. We're going to be comparing Nvidia, NVDA, and we're also going to be comparing AMD. Now I'm going to tell you about each company as we go along. Intel makes CPUs. They go inside almost every computer that has been made in in life ever uh, but they just split their deal with apple apple is no longer going to use their cpus in their computer um apple now have their own cpus but intel they make very good cpus and, and cpus are pretty much the brain of any computer it is the brain it tells you how fast or slow your computer gonna go or pretty much anything else that it does so Intel is right now at the recording of this video is at $49.89. They have increased their dividends over the last six years and they pay out quarterly. That means they pay out four times a year, every three months. They have a dividend yield of 2.62%, which they pay out $1.32 per year for every share that you own of Intel. The next company that we're gonna be looking at is NVIDIA. They are also a killer in the technology industry. They make GPUs. Well, they make a lot of different products, but the ones that they're most known for are GPUs. That is the graphics inside of all the computers that goes on. Mostly every computer need a GPU, but they make video game uh, GPUs. The video game industry is very large th throughout the entire world. And if you think a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Two, Three, Xbox X, if you think their graphics are amazing, if you ever get your hands on a computer and throw in one of their NVIDIA GPUs, your mind is literally going to be blown. Boom. But that is what they do inside of the, co in the corporation. They make the GPUs that go inside of computers. Also, they make a bunch of GPUs that go inside uh, cloud servers throughout the world, but they're most known for their GPUs that go inside the gaming computers. Right now at the recording of this video, NVIDIA is at $487.57. Uh, they have a dividend growth over zero years. I don't think they cut their dividends. Let's double check right quick. I don't think they cut their dividends, but yes, over the last year, they just kept their dividends the exact same. So they didn't rise or cut them. They just kept it the same. So they have a dividend growth of zero years, which is a big difference in between just keeping it the same and cutting dividends. That's a big difference between the two. They also pay out their dividends quarterly. That means four times a year you'll receive a payment from NVIDIA. And they have a low dividend yield of 
0.13% and they pay out 64 cents per share of every share that you own of Nvidia. So yeah, it's not a lot, 64 cents for every $487 share that you own of this company. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it doesn't add up, but they are growing pretty fast. And the last one is probably my favorite company inside my entire portfolio, AMD Advanced Micro Devices. They make CPUs and GPUs. So not only are they just making CPUs, they're also making uh, GPUs. So they make the, the computer brains that go inside every chip and they also make graphics cards that go in so that you can play games that are pretty at 4K, 60 frames per second like it's nothing but they also make different cloud server products but they're most known for their cpus and their gpus that they make inside so right now amd at the recording of this video is at 74 dollars 93 now amd is the only one of the three that do not pay a dividend but where nvidia and amd makes up for it with low or no dividends they have grown their company very fast over the last couple of years so let's go ahead and look at these companies' earnings to see what kind of revenue they're bringing in every year. So here we are with Intel, the tech giant, the most popular one out there of the three. Um, in 2019, they brought in a revenue of $71.97 billion. Wow, the technology industry is really booming to bring in $71.97 billion. That is amazing. Uh, let's take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA in 2019 brought in $11.72 billion. So that is pretty good as well. It's nowhere close to the 70 billion, but uh, bringing in 11 billion is awesome. And AMD, they brought in $6.73 billion. So Intel brought in the most, NVIDIA brought in the second most, and AMD brought in the third most. So let's see when we compare if the revenue that they're bringing in uh relates to the stock price of these three different companies we're going to go in and back test to see if we have bought these companies back in 2010 over the last decade how would they have performed going through recessions a depression uh, a, a, a pandemic and to see if how they held up doing all of that on how would they probably perform within the next 10 years if they could survive that they could survive the next 10 years so let's go ahead and back test these three right quick all right so here we are on the portfolio visualizer we're going to test the last decade so 2010 to 2020 um we're going to say that we're going to include year to date and we invested ten thousand dollars back in 2010 um rebalance annually yes here we go display income reinvest dividends that's what we're focused on benchmark portfolio name so the first one we're going to look at is intel intc the second one for portfolio number two is going to be nvidia nvda nvda there we go and the last one we're going to look at is amd we're going to allocate 100 percent of portfolio number one to intel 100% portfolio number two to NVIDIA and 100% of portfolio number three to AMD. Let's go ahead and rename these portfolios. Intel, NVIDIA, and the last one is AMD. All right, so when I hit analyze portfolio, this is us investing $10,000 back in 2010, letting it grow over the next decade while we also reinvesting our dividends. So, so this is just a one-time investment into these three different companies to see how would they have performed over the last 10 years to help give us some sense on how can we use this information to invest for the future. So here we go, keeping my fingers crossed for AMD. Hopefully they are performing pretty well. Analyze portfolio, scroll down, and whoa, whoa, whoa. okay. All right, so Intel, if you invested, invested $10,000, you will have $34,592 at the time of this video. NVIDIA, if you invested $10,000 back in 2010, you will now have $311,000. Whoo! Uh, <laughs> $311,294. AMD, if you invested $10,000, you will now have $93,822. So that is amazing. AMD did not finish last. The tech giant Intel seems to be struggling a little bit, but let's go ahead and look at the charts. So right off the rip, AMD came out the gate doing horrible, 
horrible, horrible, horrible. They dropped down. Intel and NVIDIA finally made the cross in 2016, March 31st. NVIDIA was like, hey, we, we figured out some stuff. And Intel pretty much was not being innovative at all while NVIDIA was working on that technology every single year and ended up booming. And then right here in 2019, AMD finally crosses over and passes up Intel to outperform them over the last couple of months. So right now, Nvidia just killed it with $311,000, Intel with $34,000, and AMD with $93,000. So let's scroll down and see how with the dividend payments have worked out. Okay, so in 2019, if you invested $10,000 back in 2010, you would have received $828 of passive income in dividends from Intel that year, and in Nvidia, you would have see, received $371 from passive income from Nvidia that year. But I would much rather have $311,000 than $34,000 than receiving just more amounts in dividends from Intel. So that's that. So I can already tell by looking at the chart, some things might change. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in and, and instead of buying just one time of $10,000, we're gonna buy the dip. We're gonna buy the dip, we're gonna buy the dip. So that means we're going to invest every single month into the stock market other than making one lump sum. So we're gonna scroll up. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean. We're still gonna be in 2010, but instead of investing $10,000 one time, let's say back in 2010, we only had $1,000, and we're gonna change the cash flow to a fixed amount, and let's say we're investing $800 every single month. So me personally, I invest $200 every week, so that's the same thing as investing $800 a month. So this is gonna be a close comparison of what I can do in the future if I continue to invest $200 into the stock market every single week. So this is us buying a dip, we're buying it every single month. Let's scroll down and hit analyze portfolio to see if anything changed. Let's scroll down and, oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on, did I did I type that? Oh my God, oh my God, okay. Intel, with investing $200 every week, you will have a final balance of $226,000. Nvidia, with investing $200 every single week. Did I type this in right? Oh my God, okay. Nvidia, if you invest $200 every single week over the last 10 years, you will have $2.4 million, almost $2.5 million. That is the most I have ever seen on my comparison videos. $2.5 million? That is the most I've ever seen. That is insane. And AMD comes in at a close second with $1.8 million. That's not bad at all. Hey, I'll take $1.8 at least I know I'm investing into a company that's doing pretty good. So let's look at the worst year and the best year. The worst year Intel had was down 13%, Nvidia down 30%, and AMD down 55%. The best year Intel had was up 44%, Nvidia up 226%, and AMD up 295%. All right, so if we're taking a look at the charts, it kind of looks the same a little bit, except for AMD overtakes Intel a little sooner back in 2016, and they continue to rally up, had a little dip right there, and AMD and Nvidia is just pulling away from Intel. Let me look at this chart right here. Yeah, that shows the bigger difference if you take off the scale, and that means all of these is gonna be spaced out. AMD and Nvidia is just straight up killing Intel. I wonder, I, Intel, I guess Intel is not being as innovative as they should be, and AMD and Nvidia is, but they just leaving the tech giant in the dust. When it, I'm glad I did. Guys, use this information wisely, okay? Use this information wisely. I'm glad I did this Intel and Nvidia and AMD. That is so much money. And here we are, YouTube. This is my Robinhood account. I told you I love AMD. I have 50 shares of AMD with a market value of $3,735.50 uh, with the average cost of $36.20. Now, my total return on AMD, I have literally doubled my money. I am up $1,925.55, up 106%. 
Yes, 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 AMD. So now I have invested into all three of these companies and the one I'm most heavily invested in is AMD. So I've, obviously as the charts show, they have been treating me right over the last couple of years. Um, let me pull up Intel to show you my position on Intel and then I'm gonna show you my position on Nvidia. Okay, so right now Intel is at $50 and I, oh, I did I did recently sell my um, Intel share. I sold it at $50.84 right here. I sold one of the shares right there uh, with the attempt of buying it back. I seen it at, it was at a high price, I sold it off, but I'm gonna have to eventually buy that share back. But yes, I, I do invest into Intel because they're such a tech giant, but I might not buy Intel back. I might just spend that $50 and put it back into Nvidia or put it back into AMD since they are performing so well. And let's pull up my position on Nvidia. NVDA, there we go. Right now I own 0.25, so one fourth of a full share of Nvidia, but I am, but I am up 30%. So I really should have bought a full share of Nvidia when I could have, but hey, you live and you learn. So I might take that $50 and add it to my position in Nvidia in order for me to continually grow my portfolio. And would you look at that, I have a dividend payment coming from Nvidia for only a fourth of a share from Nvidia. I'm gonna get paid out three cents for literally sleeping. That is passive income at its finest. So yeah, guys, that is the three companies that we compared this week. Let me know down in the description which one are you most interested into investing in down in the comment section. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on this video. It really helps out this channel a lot. And don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification bell. The research I have done on that notification bell for people like me, it is important for you to hit that bell. But even if you don't subscribe, thank you for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate people like you. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bring you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.